young folks, old folks. Everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door. And we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Hello, children. I'm Pastor Ted. Get ready. I'm going to read the Bible. You're going to hear a story. This is the story of Jesus healing a man born blind in the Gospel of John chapter 9. As Jesus walked along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who has sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Note those disciples are assuming that a physical malady like blindness comes from somebody's sin. So how Jesus answers is interesting. Jesus answered, neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's works might be revealed in him. Whoa, something important is going to happen. We must work the works of him who sent me, Jesus said. It is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. You and I need light in order to see, don't we? When Jesus had said this, he spat on the ground and made mud with the saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, Go and wash in the pool of Siloam. They were in the town of Bethsaida, and this pool of Siloam was nearby. Well, the blind men went and washed and came back, and he was able to see. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, Is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some were saying, Yeah, it is he. Others were saying, No, but it, it's just somebody that looks like him. Well, he kept saying, I am the man. But they kept asking him, then, how were your eyes opened? And he answered, well, the man called Jesus made mud, spread it on my eyes and said to me, go to Siloam and wash. And then I went and I washed and I received my sight. And they said to him, well, where is he, this man, Jesus? And the blind man said, well, I don't know now. You and I, if we can see, we don't need a miracle like this. But, because Jesus is the light of the world, he gives us insight. Sight in our mind to see past the ordinary things to the eternal truth of God. So, Jesus can enlighten your and my mind just as he opened the eyes of the blind man in Bethsaida. That's the end of our story. Young folks, old folks, everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Goodbye, kids.